What's good, people? I'm Escudo, and today we're going to watch another fight, uh, another one of the greatest fights of all time. I've never actually seen this one before, so we're going to be doing something a little different tonight. I'm going to be keeping a scorecard. Uh, and yeah, so let's get introduced to these two fighters. In this corner, we have uh, a man whose name I am sure I'm going to butcher. Uh, I remember the old announcers in the 80s referring to him as Eater Joffrey, which is what I've always thought his name was, but apparently he's uh, Brazilian Portuguese, so uh, the translation or like the, the with the accent on it, it's more of an Idar Hoffrey. Uh, you know, the whole Gracie clan taught me how to say my R's wrong. Uh, but anyway, uh, one of the greatest boxers Brazil ever produced. He's coming into this fight uh, with a 47 0 and 3 record. Uh, undefeated in 50 fights, 118 pound champion. Uh, I believe ranked number somewhere between 15 and 20 greatest all time boxers of the last 80 years by ring. This is. The Japanese is, uh, is lost on me, as I'm sure it is lost on many of you. But in the other corner, we got this guy right here. Uh, his name is Masahiko Harada, but nobody called him that. Uh, they just called him Fighting Harada. Like the same way like Rampage Jackson is just Rampage Jackson. If you, if you call him Quentin, people are like, who the hell is Quentin Jackson? Right? You know what I mean? It's, it, he's Rampage. This guy right here is Fighting Harada. His Wikipedia page says Fighting Harada. And uh, if memory serves... Uh, he was coming up in weight. He was, I believe, 38-3 coming into this fight. Uh, here to challenge the Brazilian champion in Tokyo. Let's see if we can skip ahead just a little bit here. Harada's going to be in the black trunks, fighting Harada, Eater Joffrey in the white trunks. Eater Joffrey's just a little bit taller, and fighting Harada, living up to his name, just storming out of his corner and throwing his right hand like a fucking madman. Comes in, short short combination punching. Going to the body with that left hook, Eater's trying to go upstairs. Land that left hook, clenches him to the inside. Fighting Harada's looking like a swarmer. Nice one, straight right to the body. Shorter man, showing his jab, showing his jab, trying to get Eater to, to throw counters that he can get through. Like that, beautiful counter right there. Down to the body, three, four left hooks and a big right upstairs. Good shit for fighting Harada. Trade jabs, Eater Joffrey's a bit taller, should probably look to use that jab. Tries to land a right hand down to the body, but fighting Harada angles off. Ooh. That's a... That's very cool and very ugly at the same time. The way Harada tucks his chin and throws those wide hooks. I feel like Joffrey could do well to land an uppercut here or a straight right. Harada seems like a swarmer. Showing a good, showing a good jab though. Sticking moving. Taking angles. And then switching it up with the left hook. Oof. Harada's throwing some heat on that left hook to the body. Nice right hand, too. Joffrey showing beautiful timing on that jab. Leads with the right hand, left hook. Harada chases him down with punches. Oof, double, triple left hooks down to the body. Look at Harada go. All right, this is going to be a good one, guys. Trade jabs, Harada's angling off, trying to trying to put Joffrey on the ropes. Joffrey's, Joffrey's smart, trying to make his way out to space behind that jab. I feel like Joffrey needs to land something big. He, ne he, needs, to, he needs to get Harada's respect real quick. Notice the FH on his trunks. You know how bad motherfucker you gotta be to just get called fighting? This man is fighting. This is his name. <laughs> Nice straight right down to the body again. You'll see that technique a lot. But if you do it, it's, it's generally from taller guys. Oof. 
just left foot to a liver. Fighting Harada's doing that body work well. Oof. He makes he makes Joffrey miss on the left hook to the head and nails him with a left hook to the body as he does. Another short right hand to the body. Joffrey feints the uppercut, throws a jab, and Harada just buries him in jabs. Seven, eight, nine jabs. Good shit. Interesting swarmer this fight in Harada. Never seen him before. Uh, round one, fighting Harada. What's up? Good shit. Uh, gonna say I, I I looked at the the scores of this fight and and they don't make sense in a modern boxing context. Like there's no ten point must system for this fight, but it's super weird. The fucking train whistle. <laughs> Oh, that, that girl I tied to the tracks is going to die soon. Uh, Rada again, just sprints out of his corner. Tries to work behind his jab, feinting the jab real nice. Joffrey's trying to keep his head moving, but Rada's doing a good job picking him off. It's very smooth. He moves well. A good for you, Joffrey, with that nice check hook. Drops that, drops that right hand low to catch the shot, and then catch. Wow, good defense from Joffrey. That uppercut got through though. Rada going with body jab. Joffrey, Joffrey trying to check with that left hook. Jump, good defense. That catching those hooks down to the body and upstairs. Oof, not those though. Not that first one. Joffrey Joffrey's having a hard time establishing his range on Harada Harada's got his timing he's picking him off very well oof got him again that right hand over over Joffrey's jab and then a left hook down to the body beautiful shit from Harada fainting very well Oh, a vicious left hook down to the body. Frame jab. Joffrey. Ooh, again. Buries him. Jabs. Seven, eight jabs. Beautiful shit. And then one down to the body. Which makes Joffrey miss on the left uppercut. Ooh, nice double left hook there from Joffrey. Uh. Snaps a double jab out. Joffrey jabs back. Another, a nice lead left hook down to the body set up by all those jabs. And then fighting Harada goes back to jabbing. He's got very awkward but fluid footwork Harada does. You know, he gets in square stances a lot. Sometimes he's, he's really bladed. Well, that was kind of a reach for that body jab there. But good puncher stance. Gets behind his shoulder on the inside. Good shit. Joffrey more of a pure boxer. If you notice the uh, his right foot, generally you can tell how how aggressive a fighter is gonna be uh, by how far turned out their right foot is. Uh, the more their right foot points out, the more you can bet that uh, their lead hand is going to be more of a problem than the rear one. But I'm going to, that's round two for Harada. Up 2 nothing on Joffrey. Uh, because because if, if a fighter, is, his ankle is turned out, he can't really properly turn into his right hand. He can't really sh throw um, a right hook. It has to come straight or, it, or it's kind of awkward. Uh, but the more square on a stance, stance a guy is taking, the more you can expect his his right hand to be a problem or to be more active.
Joffrey's not sitting down, which is strange. Most fighters, you know, sit in a stool. Not him, though. Who else did that? George Foreman did that. Uh, old George Foreman. Never, never used to sit in a stool. Broder keeping that jab going. Joffrey catching him with hooks. Which I think is what he should be doing. When Harada's jabbing, Joffrey needs to be throwing power shots because that that needs to be uh, a tell to him that that fight in Harada is within range to, to let loose on. If Harada can land jabs on Joffrey, Joffrey can power punch Harada. But kind of feel like Joffrey's trying to rope a dope him because he's showing some good skill. He moves. He's got. You know, good quality defense and, and, and a pretty decent, if, if sort of, like, like he, he's sort of a sniper. He doesn't throw a whole, a whole lot, but what he does throw, he throws with intent to land. And that's a ooh, nice, some, some nice body work there, digging down low on Harada, trying to pay him back. Harada's been body punching the shit out of him thus far. Joffrey with two short right hands up close. Hard to land those in the inside as a tall fighter. Ooh, and Harada lights him up with a nice four punch combination. Joffrey on the ropes. Harada lands another straight right down low. Such a good punch. That, that sets up the right hand over the top of it. If you, if you can consistently land that right hand down to the body, the same way a body jab will set up a jab to the head. Go on the body with a straight right will, will set up a straight right to the head. Especially if you if you do the eye fake too, where you look down to the body and then throw it upstairs. Joffrey's doing a bit better this round. I mean, Harada's still kind of dictating the pace, but Joffrey is, uh... See? Those, those right hands, that right hand upstairs, that right hand down to the body, they set each other up. Nice straight right from Joffrey, though. Ooh, beautiful three punch. Ooh, nice left uppercut, left hook from fucking either Joffrey. Beautiful shit. And now they're just slugging. A very wide left hook. Power on it, though. Good wanky power. Oof. Both guys throwing with bad intentions now. Doubling up on that left hook, one down to the body, one to the head, and then a right hand. Same way, they're both, they're both throwing doubles. That body head, body head, body head combination. It's a great way to land punches, great way to work around the defense, a, a great way to, to make a guy question. I think I'm gonna give that round to Eater Joffrey. I mean, I, I was yapping, but that was, I feel like Joffrey landed the more memorable punches there. Parada was doing very well. It's a close round. Close round. That one's debatable. But I edged that one to Joffrey. Parada runs out. <laughs> runs out like Aaron Pryor. Fucking black bottle Aaron Pryor. One of boxing's uh, mythical creatures. Uh, Jesus Christ. The pace on this fight is crazy. Harada's Harada showing a, a lot of lateral movement here, which is important. If you're the shorter guy, the more you can stay off that straight line with a taller fighter, the better you're going to do. Because, you know, tall fighters, they, they make the most of their range and get most of their leverage on those long, straight punches. So, uh, the best, if you can stay off the line of those, you can really uh, limit their arsenal. Ooh, nice left hook down to the body. That leaping left hook down to the body. It's a rare technique. You see that very much. Ooh, double jab, left hook down to the body. Beautiful work from Harada. Right, Harada, good shit, my guy.
Oof. Ooh, nice three punch. What a chin on Harada. Joffrey. Look at that nice combination there. See when he threw round po Ooh, Harada lands a nice right hand and just goes body working. Look at this motherfucker. Woo! This is how you earn a name like fighting. Jesus Christ. Go down to the body. Go down to the body. He's covering his head. Uh, he kind of he kind of digs his guard open. And then, yep. You know, Joffrey's in bad, bad trouble here. Bad, bad trouble. Ooh, brutal uppercut. Great way, and a perfect way to exploit that high guard that Joffrey's, he's, if you can get in between the gloves with that uppercut, you'll dig him right out of that high guard. Brutal shot from Harada. He's dominating this round. Looking for that uppercut again, and Joffrey goes with a short left hook. One to the head, one to the body, one to the head. Joffrey steps right into him. Working uppercuts down to the body. Harada working his way inside. Forces him out of the ropes. Ooh, another brutal uppercut and left hook. Harada angles off. And then starts throwing his hands again. Beautiful shit. Great fighter. Mm. Another another round for Harada. You could argue that's a 10-8 or whatever you would call it in this weird ass scoring system. But I got three to one Harada so far. Later, Joffrey took a fucking beat in that round. Wow. The Brazilians look worried. And Harada runs out yet again. Throwing four straight jabs, five, six, seven jabs. Then that straight right down to the body. Ooh, nice overhand right. Straight right down to the body and then an overhand right. Beautiful combination. They set each other up because you better drop your hand to take the body shot and raise it to, to block the overhand. So putting one behind the other is a great way to land something. Kudos to Harada for, for really picking his spots. Because when, when Joffrey, Joffrey's in that high guard, he'll just sit there and just, just keep poking him with that jab and, and, until, until he, he, he starts moving his head and he can start hitting him with those hooks. See? Just jabbing, 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 jabbing. Nice right hand down to the body. And clenches up right behind it. He's trying to deny Joffrey the opportunity to counter by clinching right after he lands a punch. Uh, super effective. It works. People hate it, but it works. It made Jean Ruiz a viable heavyweight, for Christ's sake. <laughs> Joffrey working them uppercuts down to the body and then the left hook upstairs. Oof. His legs don't look good, but nice left uppercut by Aiden Joffrey. Beautiful shit. Did it on the pivot too. The, the shorter Joffrey throws, the better he's, he's getting more accurate. Ooh, beautiful double F hook. What just happened? Oh, just a camera angle change. Both throwing hands, but Joffrey's, Joffrey's making a statement. He is back. Hooking off the jab, throwing three, four left hooks. Ooh, two uppercuts and then over the top of the right hand. Masterclass on double up from both fighters. Good shit. Ooh, Joffrey with that overhand right and then steps off to the side to get the angle. Beautiful. Ooh, long overhead. That was a wild swing. 
Amazing, he landed it. Crazy accuracy. The way he can punch from any distance is amazing. Wow, those are some heavy left hooks. He's got like weird, lanky Nick Diaz power. Where he, he doesn't hit super hard, but he would just put an absolute beating on you with just volume. <laughs> Harada went to the wrong corner. All right, so that's one for Joffrey. That's three to two, people. Great fight so far. Excellent skills from both men. Both of these guys look like the top 40 all-time type of fighter. Notice Eater Joffrey, he, he's trying to grab for that collar tie. Trying to grab for that collar tie slash stiff arm. So, so he can kind of keep uh, Harada at a bit of range and land straight right. But Harada's doing great with those hooks. I'd like to see Harada throw a left uppercut on the inside. I think it would uh, catch Joffrey off guard because he really likes getting down with that high guard. And uh, the right uppercut is, is a bit more telegraphed, but the short, short left uppercut, uh, very difficult to see, particularly when you're behind the high guard, unless you're, unless you're looking down, in which case, uh, you know, people can go around with gloves and down, straight down the middle. So you don't look down. You want to be looking up, even behind that high guard. Bit of a slower round. Both guys are uh, sort of catching their breaths here. Rada with a nice three punch combo. Been a wild ass fight so far. Oof. Both guys hurt. Both guys rocked. Both guys landed in long combinations. Joffrey's pressuring now. Throwing that long, wild overhand right. Almost looks like he lands with like the door knockers on it. That punch uh, Tyson Fury knocked down Deontay Wilder with the first knockdown in that fight was one of those door knocker punches. A lot of three, four straight jabs and Joffrey trying to come over the top with that right hand. Perfect counter for those jabs. You want, you want to punish a guy for jabbing? Start throwing with power over the top of it. Joffrey putting emphasis on the left hook. Throws three of them, one lands a big one down to the body, but uh, Harada takes the others on his defense. Harada coming forward in a straight line and throwing those, those circular punches. Uh, it's a great, that's a great way to force somebody back into the rope. Like, there's nowhere to go. If somebody is, is cutting off both your escape routes with punches and coming forward, it's a great way to force somebody into the ropes. Good round. Uh, closer round. I think I'm going to go with... Mm, damn. Damn, that was a close one. Um... Go with Joffrey. I think Joffrey took that one. So that's three to three. Could argue hurrah again. What do I know? My first watch. And I'm, I'm yammering on through it. So. <laughs> oh, by the way, shout out to quiet Japanese crowds. Uh, they were the closest thing to having like an empty room before the coronavirus. Ah, uh, I pride just sounded amazing when you could just hear the head kick. 
Because <laughs> the, the quiet Japanese fans are just like, oh, you can hear that nice baseball bat slap against the temple from Crow Cup. Anyway, I'm Yamaras. Round seven begins. Harada, again, going, throwing alternating hooks down to the body while coming forward. Joffrey uh, trying to catch him as he comes in, trying to neutralize his jab and uh, trying to find a home for that right hand. Parada's doing a good job, stiff arm, trying to uh, control the distance with that stiff arm after the jab. Double left hook down to the body. Joffrey jo drops that arm on it. Beautiful shit. Good defense. Parada going wild with that left hook. The more Joffrey throws that overhead, that straight right over the top of that jab, the better he's going to do. But Harada's doing a really good job of dictating right now. Harada parries the jab inside. Joffrey starts throwing round punches. What a weird sort of corkscrew uppercut there. You don't, you don't see that a lot. All right. All right. Nice right uppercut, left hook combo on the inside. Joffrey's taller, but he's a really good infighter. He shortens his punches very well. Good torque on his hooks and uppercuts. Good shit. Uppercut down to the body, overhand right. Fighting Harada lands an uppercut up the middle on, on Eder. Harada keeping that left. Jesus Christ. That was a fucking merry-go-round of a right hand long ass uppercut <laughs> makes a miss turns around and cracks him nice nice swim for the hand position on the inside there by Ada Joffrey so he can land those short uppercuts Harada as he come in Harada lands a nice straight right down to the body and then and then fucking Eater Joffrey just just puts a nice seven punch combination and then beautiful brain craft there getting off the ropes like that good shit Harada wrestles him back but Joffrey's landing some nice short punches in there he's finding he's finding gaps in, in, in Harada's grappling where he can he can land with that with that weird short wanky power that he's got Oof, nice seven punch combo. Harada, nice forcing that head under. Uh, I guess I'm gonna go with Joffrey on that. Yeah, I think that was another Joffrey round. Shout out to the waving the towel guy. <laughs> the Japanese press corps. Do other jobs. Look at him go. Amazing. <laughs> Harada comes out for round eight. That was just awful commentary. I'm doing a great job, you guys. <laughs> Harada goes with another left hook down to the body and starts grappling uh, either Joffrey back. Round punches combined with the ooh, beautiful body work there. See those short round punches. By coming forward, he's forcing either Joffrey straight back into the rope by cutting off both exits. Joffrey's, Joffrey's uh, a better inside fighter, though. Harada's really good at closing the distance, this sort of mid-range where you can where you can open up and still land sort of power punches. But once you get to that touching range, that, that point where, where your guy is physically touching you, Eater Joffrey's better at that, that really short inside game, and he's, he's better at long range because he's got the reach. 
Oof. Nice short choppy right hand. Then two down to the body and then one up top. And he's a bit better of a grappler than, than fighting Harada is. He's, um, he understands how to get momentary stalls with one hand free. How to, how to stiff arm a guy uh, so where he, he can't punch and you sort of have an angle on him so you can come over the top with a free hand. That's a, that's a huge part of, of, of learning to punch from really close is learning how to free up one hand with just enough space to land it. Good shit. He's giving Harada a fight. Harada's dom dominated in the mid-range, but I feel like Joffrey's doing real well on the inside. Ooh, nice, nice grab with that. You notice how he moved that arm aside to, to, to get the open angle. He's trying to do it again. He's trying to force that arm across his body so he can get an open, open punching angle for an uppercut or an overhand. Joffrey had a nice lanky left hook down on the body. Reminds me a bit of... Um, Hmm. Sort of a mix between Uzwebio Pedroza and like Alexis Arguello. But those are just tall motherfuckers. This is sort of the tall motherfucker blueprint, uh, which I'm familiar with as a tall motherfucker. Harada's. Oof, beautiful fucking jab fighting Harada. Oh, 7 a.m. putting power on him. Joffrey's trying to keep him. Harada can keep his jab in this. He can he can really dominate this fight, but he needs to keep this fight at mid-range. Did a pretty good job of it that round. I'll give that round to fight in Harada. That's four to four, people. Good even fucking fight. Like George Crowcroft didn't lie to me. This, this motherfucker's good. <laughs> now I'm just gonna sit here and watch a man get toweled off in silence. Awkward, awkward silence on this YouTube video. I just want a subtitle here that says speaking Japanese. <laughs> Shout out to Sunglasses Guy, being the coolest guy right there. Fucking sunglasses inside in Tokyo in 1965. It's the coolest fucking thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Ooh, beautiful straight right hand. Ooh, nice overhand too. Catches, catches him right over the top of that jab. The more Joffrey keeps that right hand. Ooh, beautiful shot. Picked him off as he came in. And Harada wrestles him to the ropes. How's his legs? Notice Joffrey's trying to line him up, trying to put that jab in front of Harada's face. Just like my fist covering this camera. You can't see what's behind it until the right hand. It's a beautiful setup. Tommy Hearns used to do it. It's great. Tall Fighter's textbook. And then the perfect counter for that is to throw a right hand over the top of it. Which, which you see fighting Harada do right there. Certainly two top quality fucking fighters. Both these guys are really, really skilled. Ooh, nice, nice short straight punching from fighting Harada there. Left hook down to the body and then grapples his way to the inside to that over under position. Ooh, three straight uppercuts and then a one-two behind it. It's a great way to chase somebody out of the pocket. <laughs> Beautiful shit. Kinder Joffrey's an offensive technician. Both these guys are really intelligent offenses. And the jab with the uppercut behind it. Beautiful shit. 
Lead left hook from fighting Harada. Gets Joffrey the ropes, bangs a couple body shots. Then immediately works to try and immobilize his arms. Because he knows, he knows that Eater Joffrey's a better inside fighter than him. So he's trying to shut that part of his game down as much as possible. That's why in that clinch you saw him grabbing at Joffrey's wrist. Ugh, that is an ugly overhand right. Can we just be real? Tall people throw ugly overhand rights. That was a nice straight one, though. And jab right behind it. Harada's is throwing that uppercut, but Joffrey weaves out the way and then ties him up. Joffrey's going to look to get off the ropes here. For Harada, notice how he stormed right in, try to keep him pinned. Trying to keep the, that real estate up to him, then cutting him off with a left hook as he tries to step out. Beautiful shit for fighting Harada. As he tries to go to the other direction, Harada throws that straight right down to the body. He's trying to get him to walk into punches. Nice short uppercut as the round came to an end. That's another round I'm giving Harada. Good shit, guys. Good shit. I don't know who either Joffrey's towel man is, but he's the hardest working man in this corner. By far. <laughs> Ooh, beautiful. Right up, cut down on the body, left hook upstairs. And a crushing straight right, a pair of them. Nice. Good shit from either Joffrey. That uppercut. Look for Joffrey to try and throw his right hand. What what happened? Why am I looking at this motherfucker's knees? Harada doing a good job. Uh, Joffrey's trying to trying to shut down that jab, reach for that jab, play with his lead hand a bit. So Harada starts throwing it underneath, going down to the body. Harada tries to cut him off with the right hand, but Joffrey leans out the way. Ooh, beautiful. Beautiful slash ugly. I don't know. It's weird when tall fighters throw that punch, but he can land it. Fucking land it. Harada shows some beautiful footwork. Stepping to the left. That jab. Good fundamental shit. Ooh, nice right hand. Joffrey just eats it. Looks like Harada's starting to tire and Joffrey's starting to... Uh... Ooh, beautiful. That's why he keeps trying to push that, that, that arm across his body. If you can keep it there, that's a, that's a punching angle. It's called an arm drag in wrestling. And, and it is responsible for causing more double legs than than Randy Couture. Uh, and it's also a great way to open up punching angles. It's, it's a, a rarely used technique that should be used more because it's awesome. Parada with a six, seven, seven jabs and then a left hook down to the body. Setting the shit up. Just being smart about it. Joffrey returns with Rada's jabs kind of dominate this round though. It's getting Joffrey to chase him a bit. Harada cr crashes in with that, that right hand. He throws it and then you come in with a square stance and you just immediately, by just smashing into them, you off balance them so, so your opponent can't really throw a, a good counter there because they're just, you, you knock them off balance. Shout out to both these guys. <laughs> That's weird. Now he's in a stool, so you know he's tired, or tireder at least, and he's facing the corner, which is also fucking weird. That was this, look at this smiling Japanese guy with a microphone. Uh, 
りさんというラウンドを取っておりましてあと手元の石川さんの採点では1ラウンド10ラウンドが原田ワンポイントリードといった感じで、oh, you're towel guy. You go, towel guy. Win, lose, or draw. I'm rooting for towel guy with crazy hair. Bald spot. Look at him go. Harada. <laughs> Harada looks so hyped to just fight it, motherfucker. He's got an excellent jab, Harada. Both of them do, but. but. Harada's crazy volume, man. Nice stiff jab for that for Joffrey. See, Harada's jab sort of disappears for stretches, and when it does, it's Joffrey takes over and starts coming back. Beautiful parry work there. Nice catching that on the glove. Trying that right hand down to the body again, but taking a counter jab. Oof, nice three jabs as he steps off. Beautiful shift from Harada. Doing Japan proud in front of his home crowd. Again, those six, seven jabs and then that left hook down to the body. That same game plan we watched Nicolino Loesch execute versus uh, Takashi Fuji in the last watch. It's a great, simple, fundamental offense. Ooh. Harada is getting good to Harada now. He's really stepping in on that jab. His feet are smooth. He got nice feet. Quick, very smooth. Joffrey lands that nice straight right down to the body. That's a punch I'd like to see him use more. Uh, it'll it'll really punish Harada for being in that mid range. And Harada's really try uh, noticeably circling to to Joffrey's right hand. Has been almost the entire fight. Nature of a guy who jabs in circles like that. Joffrey's right hand needs to needs to make its presence felt more. The more at range. Ooh, nice, nice. Coming over with that right hand. That right hand over the jab again. Cross counter. It's a brutal collision. You can uh, time it just right. Joffrey going high and low with that jab. Harada faints and just caught and starts grappling. Looking for, looking for that, uh, that arm drag and short left hooks on the inside. Doubling up on that jab, coming in again. Harada's looking for a bit of a break here. Oof. Nice double jab right hand, though. Maybe I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I've never seen this fight before. A good round. Tough one. Um, let me give that to Harada. Round 12, fighting Harada comes out, throws that straight right hand down to the body, puts two jabs behind it, then comes over the top of Joffrey's jab with a right hand. Tripling up on a jab of his own, Joffrey's looking for that cross counter. Harada triples up on jabs as he steps to the left, that safety lead. Then the jab, left hook down to the body. Ooh, beautiful. Right hand down on the body, overhand right, and then a left hook. A double up from her. Oh, beautiful shift. Beautiful shift from both guys. Both great offensive technicians. Both guys got really good shins. And, and, and both... Fucking down. Harada's doing. Harada's done a lot more body work, and uh, 
I think that's probably going to tell over the course of the next few rounds. Murata has, has really gone to the body quite a lot. Landed a lot of left hooks down low. And uh, I would imagine that's going to take a lot of uh, j the wind out of Joffrey's sails. Notice his, volumes, his volume is a lot lower in this round than it was in a lot of the previous ones. Joffrey hasn't thrown a punch in a good 30 or 40 seconds. Harada's stalking. Well, Joffrey works his way into some good ring craft. Harada turns the tables and lights him up. Fighting Harada is squarely in control of this round. Short right down to the body, gets the inside and ties him up. Denying Joffrey that counter again. Nice short little hooks, beautiful shit. The jab and grab, oh, Joffrey circles off. Harado finds a left hook on the clinch break. And Joffrey with that left uppercut, left hook combo again on the inside. A little short left hook as he backs off. Makes, makes Harado miss on the jab, throws a right hand over the top. Harado goes back to clinching. This is definitely a Harada round. So far, anyway. A short uppercut on the inside. Ooh, four, five, six, seven, eight punches down to the body from fighting Harada. Round comes to an end. <laughs> you okay, man? <laughs> That's another one for fighting Harada. I know what I'm saying. That's fuck that shit. I, I, I know those finger points. I might not speak Japanese, but I speak aggressive human. <laughs> Maybe it was more of this shit crazy, but I don't know. Both guys throwing hooks. Getting real close on the inside. Harada's going to the body. Joffrey's going upstairs. Joffrey with that check hook. He's done a real good job with those check hooks tonight. It's a very useful technique on a shorter fighter, particularly a guy who's getting inside like this. Like that right there is a perfect opportunity to throw a check hook. A check hook is going to punish, uh, you know, uh, 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 the guy who comes forward and the guy who's throwing round punches down to the body. Check hook is really a great counter for that because you catch him walking in with a clean power shot. Floyd's knockout of Ricky Hatton is, is pretty much a product of that. Harada going with that straight right down to the body. Oof, nice right hand. Joffrey's jab reappearing. Ooh, nice uppercut from fighting Harada. That uppercut's been doing good work for him. He's, he's really done a good job of taking apart uh, Joffrey's high guard with that right uppercut. Trade right hands. I think Joffrey's shoulder rolled his, but uh, Harada certainly didn't. He ate that shit right in the chin. Joffrey shotguns his body. Three, four uppercuts down low. Harada ducks in with a left hook of his own. He'll tie up. Both guys are tired now, but Harada. Ooh, Joffrey's throwing some heat, though. Yeah, Harada's trying to slow this fight down. He doesn't want Joffrey to be able to mount a comeback here. He, he thinks he's up. What the fuck? Why did that just black out? And then Joffrey's now sort of going for the kill. And, and, and Harada's doing a really good job of, of, of tying Joffrey up. As soon as he can. And he, he gets that, that grip behind uh, uh, Joffrey's arm and, and keeps trying to turn him with it. He's doing a really good job of shutting Joffrey's offense down. At least up close. Because you can't hit what you aren't facing. <laughs> He's not well. The 
Waddle with a nice jab. Catching Joffrey coming in. Good round. Uh, I'm going to give that one to Joffrey. Uh, he was more aggressive. He was landing punches. He, uh, Rada kind of took a round off there. Was looking for a break, which, which who can blame him. Followed a crazy pace. His jab hand must be heavier than a motherfucker. Here we go guys, round 14. Ugh, sorry about the wonky video. It uh, only lasts about a minute. Oof, beautiful double F hook. One down to the body, two upstairs. But uh, Joffrey picks off the third one with his high guard. There you go, video's kind of better. Ooh, beautiful. Harada throws four up, uh, four jabs, and then Eater Joffrey hits him with a left uppercut, which uh, you should really only do if, if your opponent has not been throwing a straight right hand all night. Like, uh, you need to be aware that if you... <laughs> Harada falls over. You know, it happens sometimes. Looks like a trip. Yeah, no disrespect. They're cool. Uh, but... Uh, throwing a left uppercut is, is a great way to get your head taken off by a right hand, but if your opponent hasn't been really throwing a, a straight right hand all night, it's one of those, it's a risky technique, but it, if you can get away with it, it might be worth it. Use sparingly, I guess. <laughs> Harada doing a great job with that jab, dictating with that jab. Joffrey's trying to press, but Harada, Harada keeps him walking into that jab. Ooh, nice overhand right, though. That cross counter over the top of the jab. Lands another couple short left hands before uh, Harada can close the distance and clinch. People hate, the, people hate that sort of jab and grab strategy, but shit, it works. And Harada opens up a little bit, throwing hooks high and low. Starts off to the head, lands, lands a good one down to the body. <laughs> Joffrey with that winding uppercut. Nice pair of left hooks down to the body. And then and then the ring craft to turn him, turn him into the ropes. Get back out to distance. Harada comes in, opens up jabbing. Joffrey throwing that awkward right hand. That awkward overhand right. Joffrey's, Joffrey's trying to take him out now. I think he... Ooh, beautiful right hand. Rocks Harada. Harada's good, though. He's strong and then comes right back, landing four or five hooks of his own. Maybe not landing, definitely throwing at least. Joffrey, another right hand. Ooh, beautiful step off. As uh, Harada throws a right hand down to the body. Joffrey's able to see it coming and get to the outside of it to make his way off the ropes again. Beautiful ring craft, beautiful defense. Another great round. Gotta go Harada, I mean uh, Joffrey on that one. That was a Gator Joffrey round. Last round, round 15. Touch gloves. Joffrey comes out bombing with that right hand. Rada jabbing. Joffrey needs a knockout. He he's got to know that by now. You don't you don't get to this point with with 50 fights undefeated, and not feel like this isn't. Harada has been winning this fight, and he lights up his body again, ties him up. Harada's Harada's killing time and style at this point. He's got to know he's got this fight, especially in, in Japan. He's in front of his home crowd. But... Nice right hand down to the body. Joffrey steps off the line of attack, lands a left hook. Harada does the same, trying to land four or five jabs, but Joffrey's head movement takes care of that. 
Backs off of the left hooks from Harada. Harada's just trying to clinch, trying to shut down Joffrey's offense. He's, he's, he's just been doing a whew. I stand corrected. Opens up with a nice three punch combination. He's controlling when the punches happen. That's, that's what entering the clinch after, after that, after landing his shots does for you. You control when the punches happen, when you can make distance, when you can close it. The moment you can open up distance is when you can punch. And if you decide to get inside like this, like he does after every, every one of those uh, flurries of hooks, you can completely shut down your opponent's ability to fire back at you until they make space. But Joffrey lands a nice right overhand right right there. Rada keeps up that body work, keeps mauling his way forward, keeps getting inside Joffrey's offense and shutting it down. Mark of a smart fighter. Ooh, beautiful uppercut right there from Joffrey. Nice right hand down to the body. Harada's, yeah, Harada's just, just, and the fight comes to an end. Great respect between both men. Great fight. Good shit. I dig my man's crazy hair. <laughs> Even Joffrey knows. He's, he's, he's shouting. Harada got that one. Good shit. That is... Let's see, I have six rounds for Joffrey. That means nine rounds for fighting Harada. Good fight. Really good fight. Clearly both very skilled dude. Uh, a lot of a lot of high level technique in there. Great chins, great endurance. But uh as far as I can tell, this fight is, is pretty clearly in Harada's favor. Oh. I got the Corona, and Harada got the win in his hometown against the 47-0-3 Eater Joffrey. Comes the first man to defeat him. Eater Joffrey gives it up. He knows, he knows Harada won that fight. All right, guys. A uh, couple things postscript. Uh... Fighting Harada is now the uh, president of the Japanese Boxing Association. He's still alive, and uh, Eater Joffrey's still alive too, and posted a video of him uh, not too long ago at like 80 years old, just fucking annihilating a heavy bag. Uh, my man still got it. <laughs> but uh, all right, guys, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. I'm so glad I watched this for the first time. We'll see how it comes out live. Um... Uh, like, subscribe, do the fucking things. You know what it is. All right, take it easy, bitches. Peace.